The Senators' second training camp of the season started the second Rick Bonus stepped onto the ice. With ratification out of the way, the door was legally open for him to run things his way. We are where we expect it to be, so, which is good news. Uh, it, it could have been worse, and uh, I thought the guys would arrive in about 70% shape, and that's right where we all are. But where's this guy? Ratification of the new deal also means contract talks will resume with Radic Vaughn. Rumor is he can't come until sign. There have been allegations that he can't come to camp without a signed contract from us because they won't, he won't be released from Las Vegas. And then when I'm able to ascertain that, we'll uh, sit down and chat again. The one center yet to report is the best one, Alexi Yashin. For sure, we wish uh, that Yash was here. I mean, obviously, he's a pretty skilled player and is a big part of our team, and, and we're hoping something gets worked out there. Yashin wants to be traded and was hoping to stay in Las Vegas as leverage. But the International Hockey League won't let him. So his only option is Ottawa. I spoke to Alexi yesterday, and he, he referred everything to his agent. I spoke to his agent who uh, said they're considering all their options. So I'm not sure how many options they have, but whatever they are, he's considering them. It's Yashin's claim the Sens made a promise to renegotiate his five-year, $4.2 million contract. Sexton denies it, but, just as he did in September, is offering an olive branch. We offered uh, to uh, improve his individual performance bonuses uh, tied together with team performance and it was a it was a, a healthy and fair offer but they've decided not to accept it when is enough enough where Alexi Ashen is concerned well it's getting uh, to the point it's going to be soon uh, Alexi has uh, four years left on his contract with us we fully expect him to honor them we are certainly going to honor our portion of the contract and um, We've made it clear to him we're not going to trade him. We view him as a valuable asset, and uh, the sooner he's back here playing for the Senators, the better it will be for him and us. The Senators still have to make a decision on three other players as well, all of them all-stars from the American Hockey League. Steve LaRouche, Lance Pitlick, and the AHL scoring leader, Michel Picard. But because all three made the all-star team and the game goes this Tuesday, the Sens likely won't call them up until Wednesday. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Ottawa.